Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Station Years, and just in time for an autosave, of course. Uh, as you can see, I have done a little bit of mining between episodes, unfortunately. Uh, there has been a bit of a game-changing update since the last episode. Uh, the developers have been working really hard on Station Years. They've uh, added uh, interplanetary travel now in survival, so there is a, a rocket we can build, and we can actually go to the other planets that are actually out there. I have no idea what these planets are, but they're out there. Uh, a few other things they've done is uh, they've changed, they've added a whole bunch of building options. And we'll run over here to the locker here where I have everything. Uh, let's see here. So we have the flat wall. Now everything has like so many different variations now. As you can see, there's 12 of them. And uh, they actually have like corners and beams that you can build with now. So that's one. And then we get to like the padded wall. The padded wall's got 17 variations. So they've been getting like really heavy into the cosmetic stuff. As you can see, like corners and stuff like that. They have been really busy. Uh, you also notice too, the GUI has changed a little too. Uh, they did do an improvement a couple of updates ago. Oh, the cladding. Yeah, the cladding is another one. Uh, and uh, yeah, they did a little more work on the G UI. So as you can see now, if I hold C, if I just hit C, it just automatically rotates now. And then if I hold C, oh, you hold C and you rotate the mouse wheel and it allows you to do it this way. So that's good instead of having to use the uh, delete and page up and all that stuff. But as you can see, there are like so many different variations. I don't know if these were actually in here before, but yeah, it gives us uh, something to build with. So that's quite interesting. And they've done that with all of them. There's like a whole bunch of different things they've done. Uh, another one they've done too is they've done some improvements to the auto miner. Uh, in particular, as far as I know, they've done uh, uh, updates, improvements on the input and outputs of all devices, what they said. And that's why I was having issues with things being pumped out down here instead of getting into the shoots and all that stuff. Uh, regarding Amy, I did look into Amy. Amy is an automated mining robot. Um, it is controlled by IC chips. So that means it's not just like the chips that I have down here. It's like an actual programmable script you put in the chip and then you put it into the robot. And then you can basically tell Amy to mine in a certain area, let's say a certain XYZ area and just turn everything to a shoot or can have Amy just scout around, look for different types of ores and bring them back and dump them off. Um, that's going to be something I'll have to look into eventually just because it involves scripts. Uh, now for the big one. Uh, I was talking about how the fabricator seems to override the research machine. Well, as of the current update, which would have been four days ago after the recording of this video, uh, the fabricator is no longer available in survival. So, in order to stay with the game and you know try not to be too OP, as the developers call it, I want to be starting over again, just because. But we have different uh, things I do know more than enough. Uh, another quick thing, too, is... Uh, Someone, uh, I'll probably get the name wrong, but Victor Myers had mentioned one of these solar panels was backwards. So let's have a look at this here quickly. We're seeing the one on the left. Go we'll take a look. Uh, figure out the frame rate too. I tur turn my uh, render distance down. Oh, let's see here. They all seem to be good. Unless he's talking about the two down below here behind me. Unless I spotted it and turned it around. That's all good there. I must be these two. Let's see here. Ah. Good pointing that out. New mistake. Anyway, I'll see you in the new one. Okay, I'm just at the the main menu here. We started a new world. So from what I know, you can actually travel to all these different planets in the shuttle when you create when you create it. Now, I don't know about the asteroid belt. That's actually something I'm going to be interested to see. And of course, there's also blue land here. But anyways, I'm going to do a basic moon survival, and uh, I'll probably get a few things set up, and I'll bring you back when I'm ready. Okay, here we are. I got a little pad set up there. I didn't use up all the frames of the sheet just because. Uh, as you can see, they have sort of changed the generation. They've got a lot more of these rocks here, the, the terrain scatter. Uh, so let's go ahead and start getting set up. We do got to get some power going. I was looking at what we have. I don't have a 
one of the battery yet. Uh, I do have glass sheets. I thought I had. I do have a solar panel. Ooh. Uh, sure, I'll take the solar panel. I'm not going to use a solid generator unless I absolutely need to, because steel is going to be a thing. It's always a thing. Uh, in fact, let me get the the other frames. Probably do the same thing. Which way is the sun going? They're going that way. That means there's solar panels going to go this way. Okay. Um, yeah, let me get this set up and I'll bring it back. Okay, I'm back and I got most of the stuff with me. Uh, what I've decided to do is I think I'm actually going to put a bit of a solar farm right over this crater here. Just because I can. So we will start with uh, the solar panel. All I got to do is get some glass sheets for this. And I think we'll just put the first one right here. I'll have the. Hmm. This doesn't really matter. Probably put the, put the power on that side. All right, I do need uh, glass sheets, I do believe. Yes. And I also am going to need some light eventually. Uh, first thing I got to do is uh, get steel going eventually. Um, yeah, we got to get into the furnace too, so I got to get the auto lathe. So let me wire this up, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I do have this solar panel set up. I had to turn it 90 degrees so it faces the sun. Uh, the, to track the sun movement for when we get it going on logic. I've got the power control set up. Uh, this is just temporary until I get a transformer. Uh, definitely going to be getting into the habit of using those. Uh, I know you don't need these. These are just like a backup at power supply in case you don't actually have a bank of batteries like I had. Anyway, uh, so first let's get the auto laid down. I have no idea where I was going to put it. I was thinking uh, I'm going to try to get some sort of pressurized area going eventually. Or probably sooner than later I should say. So, I do want to have everything sort of inside. I think I'm going to put the auto lathe here for now. Okay. So then I need iron sheets. Oh, I just happen to have those. I'm going to need more of them. Get the welder going. Uh, takes a second for that to load up. Cable coils. I always wonder what would happen if you put the welding torch away in your, in your uh, backpack while you still had it turned on. Would something bad happen? I have no idea. Uh, oh, yeah, that's not what I want to do. I need to grab some plastic sheets. <laughs> Dropping that. This time I want to make sure I don't lose my lander either. But usual stuff, so let me get this uh, set up and then move into the. Uh, I guess go here. Not going to take that long. Gotta do something while we wait for the sun to come up so we can start charging everything. We gotta get the battery charger set up too. I do have that in my inventory. Alright, I don't know why you would use a welder to install plastic sheets, but you do. Okay, and we need to get the old handy dandy screwdriver out. And there we go. So that is done. Grab some cables. And let's see. Uh, we're not going to worry about data right now. So this is one of the things that is going to bother me, is we're not going to be able to... You know, say only craft this much. I'm hoping that uh, they've added some sort of manufacturing option in the computer. Or the, yeah, the computer. Uh, let me fumble around with this for a minute. I'll get. I'll be right back. Okay, so the auto lead is set up. I got the battery charger here. Uh, I do want to get the arc furnace. Actually, that's right. The arc furnace doesn't actually. Actually, yeah, arc furnace doesn't need power. What am I talking about? And I probably should have moved that because now I gotta come off of here. But I want to leave this sort of outside. Uh, I've got wire cutters. I think I'm gonna just splice into here like so. Uh, I was gonna come right off the solar panels, but that'd be a stupid idea. Well, I guess not really. So let's see here. Arc furnace. Let's see here. Uh, hmm. Sure. I guess we'll do it this way. Put it over there. Probably don't need to go that far because I don't have much cable left, but that's fine because this is all I'm gonna need. Because now I can start mining. Uh, long, tedious process of mining. That was actually one of the things I was gonna actually do bef before I decided to restart, and that was actually make the the heavy drill. Okay, so that is wired in. I believe that was data or power, right? Yeah, data. 
Okay, we'll switch you on. Oh, yeah. That's right. Now, why would you put a switch inside a box? That makes no sense. Okay, I'll close that. We will put that away. Oh, just in time for the sunrise. Oh, that's bright. All right, so here we are. So I have the auto lathe set up. Let's fire this bad boy up. Let's uh, see what we can actually craft in here. Okay. Now, why do I have floor green? Oh. I forgot to do something. Hang on. Okay, that seems to have fixed it. Go into recipes here, so now you can see that. I don't actually see the cladding, and that's what gave tipped me off, because I knew I had to actually research the cladding. So we have everything here. We do need to get the research machine going pretty quick here, which I believe I have to get through the electronics printer. Uh, electronics pr printer is going to need copper, iron, and gold. Uh, my mouse sensitivity is a little high. Hang on. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, there is no, actually no mouse sensitivity, what you have to do in this game. In this game. Go to settings, you go to misc, and it's actually camera sensitivity. It's not mouse sensitivity. Anyway, so we have the arc furnace set up. Uh, that is not charging. I have this the wrong way. <laughs> uh, I swear I do that. I have played this game before. Let's actually go the other way. Yeah, I thought I was looking at the right way, but I wasn't apparently. So let's do this. We got to get some batteries in there. I do have some batteries. Um, need the electronics printer, which means I need to do some mining. So I'm going to do that. I do have a mining belt here. I don't know why they give us a pickaxe. We never use it. So yeah. Oh, yeah. In case you haven't noticed, you hear that sound. They changed a few of the, the sounds too. So that's a little bit of an addition. So I am going to... It's actually charging. I'm going to do a little bit of mining and I'll be right back. Oh, before I go, I should point out too, and this is actually a good find. Where was it? Uh, it's actually over here by the by the lander. Sorry, I uh, hit Q. I wanted to make sure I had nothing in my hand. Look at that gold right here. But I don't have to go too far to look for it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do some mining. I shall return. Okay, I'm back. And I was doing a little bit more mining. Oh, perfect timing uh and i was going back and i'm looking at it like this is an oddly square shaped chunk of dirt let's have a look and see what's inside uh i did do a little bit of mining as you can see i got a whole bunch of gold iron coal and copper uh, coal we don't really re need right now i got it for uh making steel which we're gonna get into in a second here or not in a second we're gonna do a few other things to first we do gotta get some research going uh, there's nothing in there. Anyway, uh, let's turn that off, turn that off, and we are actually charging good. I've been trying to avoid using the coal for power because we need it. Alright, uh, let's put this away. So, uh, I do have everything in here. I, as you can see, I got iron, copper, and gold. We're going to turn this on. First thing we're going to do is we're actually going to build the electronics printer. We're going to build this, and going from there I did get that battery in there I noticed too uh, turn the charger on oh okay the, that doesn't actually use much power but I had the, the furnace going and the battery charger and it was actually draining that I turned the battery charger off and it was fine oh yeah because it's not actually charging a battery that would explain it okay uh, oh wow this is gonna take a while Okay, so that is going to be that. Uh, so I'm going to get this printed and then we'll get this set up and then uh, we'll get into the research station and then we'll probably do some research before the end of it. So I'm going to let this go and uh, bring you back. Okay, this is almost done. And I thought it occurred to me about the cladding. Uh, I probably didn't look through the cladding, but for some reason I was thinking that it was the uh, floor grading. I thought there was different variations of floor grading, but there wasn't. Anyway, uh, I am going to put this right next to here. Uh, not right right next, because I want to have room for uh, inputs and outputs and all that stuff, because we're going to have to actually use these machines. So let me get this all welded up, which shouldn't actually take very long. Uh, I need already open. Need the welding torch. I'm go here. Turn that on. Give it a second. Uh, okay. Now I'll turn that off. And now I need coil. Like 
so. And plastic sheets with a welder. Go figure. Okay. Welder and plastic sheets I put back. So let me get this done and get it wired up and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm done. I actually had to make a few more cables, but we are up and running here. Let's turn this off because power is an issue right now. So let's go ahead and see what the research machine needs. So that does mean that once we get to this, I gotta start making the astral light, which uh, we'll need the advanced furnace for. So we're a little ways from that. Cable analyzer, that's a new one. Uh, power connector. Oh, that's a new one too. Interesting. But I am looking for... Ah, research machine. Iron, gold, and copper. Okay, so now we got to avoid this. Uh, let's see here. Let's get some inventory space. Or, in this case, a free hand. And we'll turn that off. We'll go here and we'll make this. And surprisingly, this goes actually really fast. And I do need to make some more cables. Fortunately, this machine actually makes them fast. As this is what it's designed for. Okay. Look how fast that is. I just need to make uh, about 10 of them. Uh, stacker's going to be a thing too. Okay, I'll stop that and pick them up. Actually, let's do it this way. This will be a lot faster. Make a few more. I'm going to put the research station over there. I'm going to start placing things down in an organized fashion because... Uh, Eventually, pressurization is going to be a thing. Okay. That should be good. I guess I don't need my jetpack on now. I can I can walk. I'm not that lazy. Doesn't mean I'm not lazy, but... Uh, yeah. Let's put... Hmm. I have a few more machines to go into. Maybe we'll put the research on this side. Have machines all in one row. And... Works for me. Alright, let me finish this up. Get it wired and we'll continue on. Okay, I am back. I got the research machine all built, built, ready to go. I'm just waiting for some copper to smelt because uh, I want to get the furnace made next. Uh, I was looking back at the video and apparently this is obviously a bug. Because I was looking back at the video, you already know this already, but this was actually a flat crater and for some reason it popped up like this. Oh, there's iron there. That's good to know. Uh, so, yeah, okay, so that's done. I have no idea how much power is left in the APC there. Let's go ahead and grab that. Go in here, take that jetpack off again. And turn this on. Now, I do have it set for furnace, which I think I need. Yeah, well, we're going to need that because we're going to make steel anyways. We'll make one of those. Hopefully the battery holds up. The sun should be coming up any time now, so that is good. And yeah, and then uh, we'll be calling this one here pretty soon. I think next one, uh, I'll, probably, I'll probably end up doing, I am going to be doing some more mining after this, just to get stuff for research capsules, because we're going to have to start researching a lot. Oh wow, this thing is taking forever, and here comes the sun. Beautiful. Anyway, while that is going, because... Uh, or we can cancel it. It's going to take so long to do. So now we're back into the research. So we do have to worry about... Uh, I think it was the uh, yellow and green ones we need the astral life for, but we don't need too many of them. So these are all the things that we have to research. So I guess the first place... What would be the first one? Let me figure this out. Okay, so I'm looking through here, so... Realistically, the first thing I wanted to get into is uh, basic logic so we can get the logic circuits going so we can get automated solar panels. And then the other one was in tools. Uh, I just had it. Where the hell? Where was it? Uh, heavy power in infrastructure. And that gets uh, heavy cables. It gets fuses, which I've never used because you get the transformer and also gets us the battery. Uh, probably should get into... Was it in here? Was it? No, it wasn't. It was in... Uh... Tools? Yeah, then when I try to get the transformer too. I believe that was... In here somewhere. Where was it? 
That might actually come in handy. Oh, yeah, we need the astral life for that. Uh, let me get out of here. Oops. Some menus can escape out of some you can't. Oh, good, I ran out of iron. Okay, uh, let's go back in here. And where was the other one? Um, yeah, I was looking for the transformer. That wasn't logic, was it? Power management, yes. Okay, so we need to make at least three of them. Uh, let's see how expensive these things are. Turn that on and see. Copper, gold, and iron. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to get some more copper going and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. And if you hear some noise in the background, that's just my neighbor doing neighborly things. So I do have enough to get a few going. I was going to get the stacker going, but we need that damn asteroid for it. So anyways, let's go ahead and build a couple of these capsules. Uh, I don't think they stack my inventory. I think they do. Uh, we're going to make a few of these. We'll make... That's what we have here. Let's make four of them. Just because. I also want to try to get a computer going too eventually. With the manufacturing board, I think I actually have them. I think we start with them. I'm going to go check to see what I have in the lander there. Because I want to see if they've changed it so you can actually specify how much you print out of this now with the manufacturing board instead of having to do this and wasting all your materials because you forget to leave a machine on okay we'll take that out and we'll go ahead and stick them in here this is why i want shoots and conveyors and all sorts of stuff so let's go ahead and start researching that while we're doing that let's get the furnace set up uh, i'm probably gonna put the furnace over here too that's not a furnace and that is just because of uh, gases and vents our gases and such like that. And I forgot about C. Okay, let's see here. Oh, it should be good. Yeah, we'll put it right there. What do I need for this thing? Iron sheets. I got any more iron sheets in. That's fine, because we print in here pretty quick. And I don't have any iron. Ah, give me a moment. Just gotta smelt up some more iron to make some more plates because I hate having to eject all the contents and jock it between back and forth between machines. Which is sort of what I was gonna use the vending machine idea for because I knew I was gonna have to use these because they're faster. But basically what I wanna do is I wanna have vending machines instead of ore, well, with the ores, not the ores, the ingots. So basically I could just throw a, 50, a stack of 50 and whatever I need it so I don't have to leave a thousand iron in there. And have 10 in there when I need iron in there, but it's in here. Anyway, uh, research is done, so let's go ahead and start unlocking stuff. So we're going to start with, I believe, oh god, now where was I? Uh, no, 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 we start a production, we'll get heavy power infrastructure so we can get a battery. Okay, and then I wanted basic logic, yes. I'll even get that started right now, I think. And what else did I want to get? I think there was some other stuff I wanted to get. I'm not worried about life support right now. Organics printer. I've got cereal bars for the time being, so don't need to worry about that. Uh, yeah, I can't do that. Don't really need that right now because I do have a few others. Is it prospecting? Oh, well, yeah, okay, yeah. I gotta unlock that. Storage could come in handy. Hmm. What other did I want? Uh, let me double check. Ah, yes. We do want shoots, so we're going to take that. And I was looking at this, too. Actually, not locked. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can get the, the motherboard or the sorter. I believe that's what the sorter is here. Uh, under bait sorting systems, and it's just one red. Under advanced delivery systems is the actual kit for the sorter. So, you can make the motherboard before you can actually make the machine, which is kind of off. I do have one research left. I have no idea what I want to use that for. Let's see. You know what? I want to try using the computer, too. So, we'll do that. We'll turn you off. So, now I have some, chi some, uh, some chips I can make. Uh, I don't think they were too expensive. Let's see here. Let's see. Why is that unlocked? Wait, did I unlock, just unlock that for something? 
I gotta check this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh yeah, no, because I got the computer. And I keep hitting escape, I don't know why. Okay, let's see. So I was looking for, well, let's see, battery, we need steel. Or we'll make steel in the next episode. Uh, see, this is what I was talking about for, for Amy. You gotta use these IC chips. Oh yeah, the logic. Well, before I ran out of power, it said copper and gold. So, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. And I remembered what I wanted to research. I wanted to research. Oh, go ahead and start researching that. But it was, uh, yeah, power management systems. So I can get the, the transformer. Wait a minute, do I have the small transformer already? Okay, transformer, what? Do I even, ugh, I keep doing that. I know there's a close button at the bottom. I just keep forgetting it. Do I have the transformer already? Do they start us with a small transformer? They do. Oh. All right, well, we'll work on that next. But anyways, uh, we're gonna need this anyways. So we'll go back to, where was it? Uh, is it in here somewhere? Let me find it. Uh, hmm. That's what I want to do. Yes, we'll need the large transformer eventually because we're going to have to get more solar panels and all that stuff. But I do have everything ready to finish up the furnace here. At least I hope I do. I've got the two sheets made. Go ahead and... Oh, it's a wrench. I hate it how they do that. Okay, and... I need two more sheets. Not a problem. Do that. We'll take that out. We'll switch back over to here. Take that and that. Oh, and stop. Stop making things. That's what I'm hoping the computer's going to do on that. But we'll see. Okay, so that is done. And looking at the time, I think this might be a good spot, a good place to call it. Uh, next one, we'll start making some steel. I got to go get some more supplies, get some more iron and. We'll pick up some ice and all that stuff, and then we'll continue on. Uh, I'll definitely get, like I said, a couple of batteries going, a whole bunch more solar panels. I think they were relatively cheap. They were in here, weren't they? Uh, let's see. Nope. Uh, oh, no, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to build the transformer yet. Uh, solar panel. Relatively cheap. I'm going to have to go get a lot more copper, that's for sure. But... With that being said, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.